the Interparty Resistance Against the New Voters Register has accused the Electoral Commission of attempting to manipulate the results of this year's election. At a news conference in Accra ahead of the IPAC meeting, the group served notice to resume its protest till the Electoral Commission rescinds its decision to compel a new voters register. The Interparty Resistance Against New Voters Register comprising six political parties have been protesting the Electoral Commission's decision to compile a new voters register for the December 7 general elections. After staging demonstrations in Tamale and Kumasi, the group suspended its planned activities after the EC's advisory committee called for a stakeholders meeting. But at a news conference, the group has made a U-turn, indicating that it will stage another protest in Accra on Tuesday, February 4, claiming the Electoral Commission defied protocol to announce the date for the start of new register compilation. The Electoral Commission, through an orchestrated media, decided that they will announce April 18th as the commencement of the registration when we have not agreed on anything. Obviously, this was a slap in our face. The Electoral Commission said nonsense to all of us. We are going into a very, very critical election. An election where we have two presidents with one term. President Mahama got one term. President Nanado at the moment has one term. Both of them looking for a second term. And then we have we, Hassan Ayarga, and the other leaders too, also looking for a new term. Do you think it's going to be easy for anybody to accept a new register that would compromise the election? Leader of the All People's Congress, Hassan Ayarga, said the Electoral Commission is adamant to the concerns raised because it has hidden agenda. When you have full control of the new register management system, quote and unquote, you can manipulate the results. 